Does dysphoria ever actually go away? I don't know. Dysphoria has turned out to be more of a complicated subject than one might think it would be. Um, it seems like you go into transition and uh, you think, well, I'm going to do, you know, this and that, and then my dysphoria is going to start to melt away. Um, but it, it really is a complicated thing, dysphoria. It's like if your body dysphoria is a 10, so um, magnitude-wise it's as bad as possible. Um, it's like that 10 is divided up uh, amongst your body. So, you know, your face and your voice not being right is like a two and a half. Your chest not being right is a two and a half. Your crotch being incorrect is a two and a half. And then say, like, your, your woman fat is a two and a half. And one would think that once you start hormones and your face changes and your voice changes, that you would lose two and a half of your dysphoria. But in my experience, it didn't happen. I lost the dysphoria about, say, my face and my voice, but I still had the same magnitude of dysphoria as a whole. It just moved. So, for instance, whereas I was not as dysphoric about um, my face and voice and I was able to pass more, all that dysphoria, it moved to my chest. And so I had just as much internal dysphoria, just it amplified in other places. And the same thing happened after I, um, after I had my chest surgery. Um, I lost the chest, well, I lost most of the chest dysphoria. My surgery was not, it didn't turn out very good, so uh, I still have some dysphoria there. But overall, you know, it looks flat, so I lost most of that dysphoria. But internally, my dysphoria was still at a 10. It just amplified on my hips and my incorrect crotch. And this is really frustrating for me, and it's been really frustrating for Tiffany as well, because, you know, we both expected, you know, as this process uh, went on, that I would become happier and happier with my body. And I am happier with my body, but at the same time, the magnitude of dysphoria for the portions of my body that have not transitioned or are still transitioning or I have not surgically altered has just become greater. So, and that's one of the reasons why at first when I had, you know, little to no intentions of having lower surgery, why I'm now wanting lower surgery because the dysphoria that I had up here is mostly gone, but it just all, it just is all, uh, I don't usually lose my words when I'm recording. It's all, uh, wow. Okay, it's all in this area. I can't think of the word I'm trying to, uh, trying to come up with. So, I'm really, really hopeful that after I have my lower surgery, that the dysphoria is going to go away. And honestly, I am i feel like I need to get to a point in my mind where the problem is no longer with my body. The problem is in my head because um, there's only so male you can make your body. And um, from society's perspective and people that are uh, looking on, I look male, and I am male, and I am male, uh, but, you know, I feel like at some point there's uh, a line I need to draw between um, looking male and being male and just being vain, um, and that's not an easy thing to say. You know, no one wants to say, oh, um, my dysphoria is really now just vanity, but um, I feel like maybe at some point that's going to be a place I need to go in my head because uh, it may be the only way to deal with the remaining dysphoria that I have. So it's just, it's, an, it's a very, very interesting thing, the dysphoria, and I know this has been something that has really 
been hard for Tiffany to deal with because um, it's obviously difficult for me to deal with the dysphoria, but, you know, Tiff has been standing by very supportive this entire time and with full expectations that, um, you know, after Dade does this, he'll lose this dysphoria or after Dade does this surgery, he'll lose this dysphoria and um, that hasn't been the case, unfortunately. So, you know, like I said, after, you know, this next couple of surgeries that I do, um, at that point, I don't feel like there's any more body work to be done. The work that I'm going to have to do is going to be um, in my mind and in my head, you know, accepting the fact that this, this is the body that you have now. This is the male body that you have. And um, there are some things that you just can't change and you have to be satisfied with. So um, just a little something for everyone to think about. I just wanted to kind of share my experience with uh, the dysphoria. Um, I haven't really spoke much about it overall in my transition just because I prefer to talk about things a little happier and I don't really have any resolution to the dysphoria because it's still really, really present and it literally just, I just feel it pulsating in the areas that uh, have not transitioned to my satisfaction. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm off. Uh, Tiff and Zane went into town today so I have a little time to myself. And I'm going to take advantage and go on a nice bike ride. So I hope you all have a really great weekend. Bye.